Yo, what's good Jets Nation? This is NY Jets Media, bringing you guys the next episode on the series I created on my channel when I break down each position group for the New York Jets. And in this one, I'll be breaking down the special teams group coached by Brant Boyer. As we know, this is a very strong suit for the Jets. We've always been strong on special teams, especially since Boyer took over because he's a great special teams coach. And I'm going to get into each position, whether it's kick return, punt return, place kicker. And yes, I know that's a big issue for the Jets punter and even long snapper so i'm gonna give you guys my thoughts on this position and break down each different player uh and i'm really excited to bring you guys this video and with that being said let's jump right in so this is the depth chart for this position and this can definitely be subject to change this is not guaranteed this guy's going to be kick returning this guy's going to be punt returning this is just my opinion who i think will or should so getting right into the kickers we signed brett maher from the dallas cowboys and we also have sam ficken on the roster so we know these two will be battling it out all throughout training camp and we will be rolling with probably one of these if we don't sign another person to bring in competition wise because we know the kicking position was so bad in 2019 and it lost us a bunch of games. So kicking right off with Brett, his stats in 2019 were not too bad. They weren't great, but they were decent. So he had a 66% uh, field goal percentage. He shot 100% uh, sh of kicking point afters and that's a huge deal because i feel like now uh ever since the extra point went back it's even further we need those extra points remember week one against the bills we get that pick six from cj mosley and the guy kicks the uh extra point and misses and i won't even say his name because that was just a terrible kicker and he lost us that game he got cut right after it and yeah so kicking extra points is important so seeing that he has a hundred percent from there, he has not missed in 2019. That's a huge plus. And his longest is a 63-yarder, so he has range. So we need somebody that can be clutch and have range. Going right into Sam Ficken, he's going to be competing for him. So what are my thoughts on Sam Ficken in 2019? He was good. He was bad. He had a game-winning kick that beat the Dolphins, which was dope. So he obviously has the clutch gene in him. But I don't see Sam Ficken as our long-term answer at that kicking spot. We need to solidify it. I don't want to be thinking about the kicker spot every single year. Hopefully, uh, Brett can be that consistent guy. But Sam Ficken, I do not think he'll be making the roster, and he probably will get cut. So moving right into the Jets' new punter, rookie Braden Mann out of Texas A&M. He was our sixth-round selection in the 2020 draft. And this shocked some people that Joe Douglas decided to pick a punter instead of any other hole that we have on this roster because we obviously have a lot of uh, holes. So, but looking at it, Mel Kuyper Jr. said that Braden Mann has potential to be the best punter in the league at some point and be a consistent Pro Bowl guy. Having a really elite punter is low-key really useful for special teams, especially if you're in a defensive game. Say the Jets are in a defensive game and uh, they Braden Mann comes in and they pin them deep and he's out at the two-yard line. Like, and then they have to go the whole field. So having a good punter is really important. Whenever I think of special teams, I think of the Patriots because they always mastered it and that's how they're so good. They dominate all three phases. I hate talking about the Patriots, but it's just the truth. So I feel like the Jets special teams is even better now with Brant Boyer, uh, Boyer coaching them and getting a rookie like Braden Mann, I feel like he's gonna become a really good punter in this league. And like I said, in defensive games, it's so valuable to have it. And not to mention, Braden Mann also can be our place kicker on kickoffs because he has a booming leg. So this was a very interesting selection from Joe Douglas. He is building his team for the future. He wants Braden Mann to be his special teams punter and place kicker for years to come. And I think it was a great selection because special teams is a very important aspect to football. You need to dominate in all three phases, offense, defense, and special teams. So I'm really high on Braden Mann, and I'm excited. I feel like he's going to be a... Uh, fan favorite we're all gonna love him he's looks like he loves the game he always looks happy and yeah he's gonna be awesome i'm really excited to see what he can do in 2020 so going into the punt returners i have listed braxton berrios was our punter last year but i also can see ashton davis coming in and competing for that role i think ashton davis is so fast he was a former track star and he uh, returned punts and kicks over at california so Braxton Berrios was solid at that, at that position. He at, he never returned one to the house, but he had 15, 20-yard runs that sets up Sam Darnold in the offense to have better field position. That's what you want from punt returners. No, he wasn't flashy and returning it 60 yards to the touchdown, but 
that's okay. I like Braxton Berrios, and I think Ashton Davis will be competing for that role. So that punt return role, I'm okay with. Moving into kick return role, I have Vincent Smith there. He started returning it late in the year last year when he came to the Jets. He had a couple good runs, actually, and returned one to like the 50-yard line. And I, I like Vincent Smith. He has very untapped speed. I feel like he's still developing and can become a really legit threat at that kick return spot and I also think Ashton Davis can fill in that role as well behind uh, Vincent Smith and competing for that role so I'm not there's a lot of players on this team that could be a kick returner but I'm just giving you guys two people who I think is going to be uh, best suited to play that position so moving into the long snapper Thomas Hennessy he's been a jet for quite a while he's a fan favorite and I know it's funny I'm talking about a long snapper but long snappers are important he has been solidified that position for a while. It's good to have a guy there every year. It's continuity. The special teams coach is familiar with him. He doesn't have to worry about that position. Some teams do not have good long snappers, and they botch the uh, the snap to the punter, and it's a nightmare. And You need to have that consistently, consistently there. Obviously, it's not a super important position, but having a guy like Thomas Hennessy to be consistently here and in that special teams locker room is a good plus for the special teams. And going into the coach, Brant Boyer, I just want to give my opinion on him. He's been coaching the hell out of these guys. You can tell there's footage of him hyping up his team, the special teams guys, and he looks like a head coach type of guy. You want to play for him. He has that energy, and I really like his uh, enthusiasm for the game. He loves the game, and he loves the craft of special teams. So I'm really happy that we have him as our special teams coach. So that does it for my breakdown of special teams. Leave a comment down below what you guys think of this position group. I'm really high on Braden Mann and Vincent Smith I think I like and Ashton Davis I like a lot. So I'm really excited from the special teams group in 2020. I feel like it can be consistent and last year we were like a top five special teams group. I feel like we can be top five again this year or even better. So like I said, leave a comment down below what you guys thought of this video and the special teams group in general. And that does it for this video. So I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace. Let's go Jets.